why Solomonati abandoned his audience by officially running. It's crazy because it seems like so long ago. Like some people probably won't even believe you when I say that Solomonati was one of those YouTubers that literally could be at like 10 million subscribers or more right now had he never quit. This dude is fucking goaded. A lot of the things that people do, a lot of things that people say, a lot of the ways a lot of people talk nowadays, a lot of that originated with Solomonati, bro. This dude was the fucking goat. But he started going through a lot of shit in his life. You know, he turned spiritual and everything. He lost some family members, things of that nature. And he just, I guess he just lost his passion for creating content like he used to have. But I'm telling you, this dude was fucking goaded. He was kind of like Moist Critical back in the day. I, 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 I know it's kind of a crude comparison, but legitimately, this man would just make videos, just reacting to shit or talking about shit. All the videos would get millions of views, multiple millions of views, bro. He was fucking goaded. He just decided to stop. Even to this day, if he were to come back right now and start making content again, all his old fans gonna tune back in. But he just, he don't wanna do it no more, man. It sucks. But we're gonna go ahead and listen to officially Ronnie's reason as to why he abandoned his audience. Without further ado, let's get it. From consistently captivating an audience of 2 million people playing NBA 2K and mm. famous reactions, to doing a full 180 of spiritual content and captivating over a million subscribers there as well. And you got a million subscribers on that. Man is and was one of the most unique content creators out there. From effortlessly being memeable every time he turns his camera on. <laughs> I hate this nigga, bro. There's no way out of this. And <laughs> He's stupid as hell. Faces on YouTube at the same time. But he unfortunately stopped as he quit being consistent on YouTube and his other socials. This mm -hmm. led to comments wondering where he's been. Like that was like 4 million across so multiple channels. In spiritual so channel. But this is familiar territory for so as the 2020s has been all about inconsistency and year long breaks. Yeah. What's going on? Is YouTube not enjoyable anymore? Or is it the things that we don't see on the internet that made him leave? We'll get to that question. Yeah, now. man. Rest in peace, God trailer, bro. We need to go back a she bit was sad. For a for more context. Mm. On July 7th, 2012, King So, also known as Suleimanati, started a YouTube channel. But he didn't really do anything until three years later when he finally posted his first video, being this NBA 2K15 video. He mainly mm -hmm. focused on 2K games during that time and hardly show his face on camera, just focusing <laughs> on the game. Chris Move, another big YouTuber, was the- Hey, the GOAT. On he was one of the first to do it and make it cool with the stories. So got a lot of inspiration from Smooth, which is why his first videos were all about 2K and kind of looked like Smooth's. During right. 2015, he was steadily growing a fan base, and this was due to his humor throughout the 2K videos. One segment of the video would be helping viewers on how to play 2K the right way, uh -huh. and minutes later, So would say some out of pocket stuff. This dude, Mike Wayne, still ain't been patched. Yo, they ain't patched Mike Wayne yet? <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. I've been saying somebody need to fight this. Nobody was on that type of timing and people <laughs> He fucking stupid, and bro. Funny and unforced. Viewers could tell that <laughs> So was a natural when it came to making content. He didn't put out a fake image of himself and people right? loved that about him. This consistency carried through into late 2016. In 2016, he decided to change things up. Mm -hmm. In summary, it paid off. He started creating a variety of content beyond just NBA 2K videos, like reactions. The reactions, yeah. As a result, his number of subscribers and viewers more bro, than doubled. He got some of the best story times on YouTube, bro. I will stand on that. Like, there's not too many YouTubers on this fucking platform with funnier story times than Solo Badati rest is history. Within a few weeks, he gained 100k subscribers. It's kind of interesting to note that many now famous content creators used to comment on his videos before they became popular, yep. which highlights the journey from Bruce Bruce. Phantom, Davis, Bankroll, Deal, Rage. Rage started off as Solomonati's stream plug. <laughs> he's, he was, he's the one who started stream plugging. Like, I don't think there were stream plugs before Rage started doing it. He was he would take all of Solomonati's streams, screen record them hoes, and re-upload them bitches so that everybody who wasn't there live could re-watch them things. And now look at him. It's crazy. To becoming influential in their own right. His 2016 to 2020 arc is what many say to be prime so. Solely mm. because of taking his videos to the next level. Before 2016, <laughs> so was just known as that one funny 2K gamer. But as he's grown into content creating and becoming more comfortable with it, viewers mm. became accustomed to watching Solo Monati. Oh my god, the legendary and flight versus so 1v1. Watching this, you know if you can get people watching for you, not just the reaction or gameplay, then you know you won in that aspect because you practically yeah. control how you make content and do not have to rely on what the fans want but what you want exactly I, I say that all the time about like Solomonati, dashy Corey kinch and people like that we do not care what they upload 
just upload, bro. Please upload something. I said all the time about Dashy, especially. I don't care what game he plays, as long as he uploads him playing something. Dashy is fucking hilarious all the time. He can make any game that he plays funny, bro. So there's no specific, oh, Dash, I want you, I need you to play this. You need to play this. Don't play this game. Nah, just play something, bro, and upload it, and we gonna fucking watch. I still watch Dashy to this day. And Solomonati was just like that. It don't matter what the video was about. Nigga, Solomonati, upload, you clicking. Frame one. The moment I would get a notification on my phone that Solomonati uploaded, I'm immediately clicking that bitch no matter where I'm at. I'm telling you, he was so goaded back you then, bro. Coming back for you. We'll get into that topic later because it kind of plays a role in why Cell retires for a year and comes back. During this run, he did that, but also uploaded iconic videos like the <laughs> Soul vs. Flop in 1v1 in 2017. For the people yes, that know up to this moment, it was two of the biggest black content creators before this moment going back and forth on YouTube. Flight's also a fucking go. Each other dissing one another on who was the better basketball player. This moment was very anticipated <laughs> until So ended it by beating him 10 0. Yes. Also viral pranks with so oh Spanx, my gosh, Ash, not Ash. My player on NBA 2K, which probably took days or weeks to grind to that level. Yes. This moment of getting with Ash could be seen as the moment everything changed for not only so's channel but his life in general yeah because she's the one who introduced him to the spiritual shit in the first goddamn place so you could legitimately say first of all why this nigga looking at me like that nigga look, look somewhere else don't look at me <laughs> I, hey i'm goofy as fuck but uh yeah you could say that she was the introduction to the spiritual shit in solomonati's life and had he never met her maybe he would have never got into all that shit and, and listen this, this this is the thing about it Maybe it's better for him that he did because obviously he quit his YouTube and shit and it led to this whole point. But like he enjoys it better. He likes his life better. He likes his mindset better the way he thinks now. So it's like that's good for him. It ain't necessarily good for us because we ain't get no content no more, but it's good for him. So if you're really a fan of him, you should be happy for him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really, I don't really mind it. Not only so's channel, but his life in general. You know, with relationships online. <laughs> I forgot what she said. What happens behind closed doors? What I mean? Fucking Ace family, get him out of here. And relationships. Oh my God, get him off my screen! You know by now, the internet is cap. In so's videos, you can see how uncomfortable their situation together really was. Oh yeah, that Solomonati tattoo. After a year of dating, and it wasn't pretty. That was a prank. They both made videos talking about their situation. I'm nervous, y'all. I hope I don't break. This girl hurt. I got a whole nother life she don't know about. A whole nother life. Like, you shouldn't get mad if I'm talking to other females because you're not my girl. And I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but like, if I'm talking or with other females, you shouldn't be mad because, like, we have no title. You're not my girl. But you're saying that you like me and you uh -huh. and all that, but then you want to be with other that doesn't even make sense like i could like somebody and still do live do me you're the only girl i like but i still i mean i gotta live i'm not out here going crazy so if i was doing the same thing you wouldn't give a fuck oh no, you cut off <laughs> no, no, you cut off absolutely that's what i dislikes you just see you swear to god that shit crazy bro <laughs> She got that big dumbass tattoo on the arm. That motherfucker was crazy. Just might f around and fall in love. You never know. Hey there. Or whatever. And I literally fell in love with him before. I never seen this video. Like it was fast as obviously I have his name really big right here. And I got so Luminati because he didn't want Javante. He wanted his regular name. I didn't do that for YouTube. I didn't know that like YouTube was a thing. I didn't make any money off of this like that's just me as a person you know i have put up with so much bullshit. <laughs> just, just never tattoo a significant other's name on your body just don't fucking do it man just don't do it, it no matter how close y'all are no matter what status y'all are in like y'all gonna be fucking married with kids you just never know bro people that are married with kids the people that they seen themselves being with for the rest of their lives still fuck around and get a divorce because of some shit bro and now you got a motherfucker tattooed on your body i ain't gotta go try to get it covered up or get it removed just don't ever do it bro I, that, that's my advice to y'all don't tattoo no person's name on your body unless they're of such significance to your life that you know you would never ever have a reason to not have them tattoo on your body anymore such as a family member you know what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna get my mom's name and my little brother's name tattooed on me one day when I eventually get tattoos. She has my name and my little brother's name tattooed on her because obviously we're her sons. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? You would never have a reason to remove your mom's or brother's name off of your body. And if you do, then 
Damn, y'all had one hell of a falling out. <laughs> you probably see me put up with bull online from like those fans are like making me look like but we were he would talk to me in person and it, it's different or whatever and it locks it's, I'm so tired of looking dumb i will give my all to people and they don't they don't do the same like so so has done so much for me like guys i'm i'm on a payment plan for bankruptcy oh got evicted i'm broke i don't know what you guys think like damn you can pinpoint this moment as solomonati needed to switch who he was for the better which probably explains spiritual so mm -hmm. a breath of fresh air outside and looking deep within oneself <laughs> one with the grass <laughs> just one-on-one -on -one with the viewers talking about life yeah it was a big switch from gaming content and reactions, but the switch worked as it not only benefited mm -hmm. him mentally, but he collected a cool million subscribers from that channel. He also delved into many conspiracy theories about the pandemic and how life may just not be what it seems. Right. A million kids come up missing per year. What do y'all think happened to these kids? And every time people come up missing, the more and more people come up missing, the more they release more chicken sounds. The chicken nuggets. <laughs> What's the first thing I did today when I woke up? I came and got into nature. Nature so in the building. I'm actually coloring now. Look at this shit. Okay. Because I knew it was fake. I knew it. I knew it. It's going to be a cloudy day tomorrow. They control the weather. Weather is fake, y'all. Let that sink in. That's how they know what the weather going to be next week. But oh, my first, God. You can see Solomonati in recent times has been more inactive on social media than active. From taking half year breaks to full year breaks. Uh -huh. It caused fans to question what the hell has been going on. No warning or anything. Well, people who watch Spiritual So kind of know the reason for this. And that's because he advocates for stepping away from social media and being right. outside more. It's your higher self, no matter what you go through online. Soon as you you take care of yourself during the day then Blast you get shorts. Online, you probably ain't gonna even really want to be on there no more it's not peaceful it's demonic nothing but people bro this is the most purifying spot you can be at if you want i don't disagree with him first of all you see he touching grass these motherfuckers i need to do that twitter is an annoying ass place bro it ain't just twitter but twitter is one of the it's the primary social media right now it's annoying as fuck bro and like sometimes I don't even want to open my Twitter app and scroll through. Whenever there's drama going on, I know a lot of people rush to Twitter and start scrolling to look for the drama. I'll be like, man, I'm not opening Twitter for a little bit, bro, because I just don't want to see this. It's annoying, dog. I like to scroll down my social media pages personally and see a whole bunch of shit that I can laugh at. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm on Facebook, yes, I still use Facebook. Most of my page is filled with funny shit, funny videos and all that shit that I'm sharing. A lot of times I'll share a video, not even publicly. I'll share it privately just to myself so I can go back and rewatch it. That's my preferred social media experience. But no, nah, all you got is a whole bunch of motherfuckers on there arguing, going against each other, a whole bunch of fake motherfuckers who think they better than everybody. Like, I, social media is annoying, dog. It's annoying. Want to raise your vibration, become your god like so, feed your soul. But definitely I ain't step away. So that should be seen as no surprise, but it's not the only reason. You know, the God Driller situation played a role in his inconsistency. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, God Driller is the younger brother to So. And just like his older brother, he was an NBA 2K content creator. Throughout his career as a content creator, Triller actively engaged with his audience, mm -hmm. providing tips, strategies, and insights into various- He was doing good too. NBA 2K. His videos often featured gameplay highlights and discussions about the latest updates and features in the NBA 2K franchise. He was seen as one of the only genuine people left in the 2K community. Very rarely, God Triller would do IRL content like his brother. But when he did, mm. he mainly featured So and his family. And he reached half a million subscribers doing all of that. But in yeah. August 2022, God Triller's life was cut short in a tragic car accident on the I-94 highway in Detroit, which Damn, was because man. of a drunk driver. The news of the passing sent shockwaves through the NBA 2K community, with many expressing their condolences and sharing memories of his contributions to the 2K community. Of the course. This obviously shook up Soluminati and his family. But that's what happened and that's and once that happened, I end up getting a call. Like, y'all know I live in Arizona and stuff. And I got mm -hmm. the call in the morning. It was just a complete nightmare. I, don't, I can't talk about that because I'm going to cry again. So I Yeah, bro. I just, I just look, listen. Ain't, ain't God truly his little brother. I have a younger brother, bro. That's a call I hope I never get. I don't want to never get no phone call with no bad news but my little bro. Because, nigga, that'll fuck me. I ain't going to want to do nothing. Nigga, I ain't going to want to do shit for a long time. Like... You low key could spiral into goddamn self sabotage. Start fucking up all aspects of your life. You can't do that. You can't allow yourself to do it. But the urge is gonna be strong. So I understand. He like, man, fuck. I ain't. I ain't feel like. I don't feel like making no goddamn video. I just lost my brother, man. Fuck them videos. 
I want it to be me. I feel him. I feel like this is him speaking through me so I can stay balanced because I feel like I just feel like I could just cry my throat tight. But yeah, and that's what happened. And once that happened, it was like oh, yeah, some of y'all probably seen the news clips. It was a whole bunch of just different cars and stuff. But Little fucking drunk driver, me. man. Damn, trying man. To save a life, man. He went out trying to save his girlfriend's life. He tried to get her up from the freeway so they can, you know, and the last thing you would think is a car would still be going that fast and driving while it's a whole pile up of cars crashed on the freeway. He uh -huh. had so much stuff that he was holding himself back from posting. And just like every other YouTuber, you probably got some stuff that you want to put out music and all type of stuff. And mm -hmm. you, you holding your own self back. He was his own enemy in his mind. But one thing that I do know, he was looking forward to NBA 2K23. He loved 2K. Yeah, so I'm much. sure. That was his coping. And, you know, he, 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 he really respected a lot of content creators and showed a lot of people love. But from this point forward, I'm going to live out his dream for him. He's going to be speaking okay. through me, period. I have to make sure I'm on my show. And I have to make sure he experience everything, period. And y'all mm. got to understand, I'm going to be a completely different person now. I'm completely different. This has taken me down a different path to have yeah. to experience. But one thing I tell y'all, I want to tell y'all, my brother good. My family going to be good and we going to get through this and we got to keep pushing. I don't want nobody to be all sad and emotional. Although Godzilla okay. is no longer here, his videos and contributions to the 2K community and life in general are still online. And that's one of the cool things about the internet. Trilogy I don't think I've ever seen that 1v1. For people to enjoy and remember him. Damn, man. It's 2024, and I've seen discussions on forums that maybe this man has fallen off. And if you're thinking that, maybe this segment of the video changes your mind. Man, ain't no damn fall. It's a, fall, it doesn't fall off. He, he doesn't make content anymore. There's no such, there's no fall off. A fall off is when you're still doing what you're doing, but you're not getting the view. So, or like the, you know, you ain't getting as much eyes on as you used to. You ain't getting the, the push that you used to get. The pull that you used to get, not push. Pull, push is the wrong word. The pull that you used to get. This man could still get that if he decided to come back YouTube. He just, he's just not going to do that, man. You see, when it comes to content creation or social media in general, it's all about being controversial. That the fuck? Music, live stream, Dumbass. whatever. You need some type of controversy to get eyes on you. Obviously, there are some outliers on the internet, but generally speaking, nah. You see, So doesn't need all that because he's already established his fan base years ago. But mm -hmm. when he does decide to make quote unquote controversial videos, best believe it can and will pick up numbers. And also, look at YouTube right now. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you've seen these viral low quality room videos with people talking about life and how they should worry about themselves and yada yada yada. But profound pondering. Doing before it became popular to do so. Obviously, he's not the originator of the low quality recordings, no edits and spit facts not. type of stuff. But the point still stands. So Luminati is in a good situation situation right now he doesn't have to rely on posting a shocking video to get people's attention but like i said uh -huh. when he wants to he can last year saluminati came back to youtube after a year off and immediately made himself the topic of discussion in the youtube world he yeah made DDG a meme like the doodle -doo garbage <laughs> thing doodle -doo garbage <laughs> your time has come <laughs> ddg your name your new name is <laughs> this man can't stand ddg so bro this point forward y'all put two doodle -doo -doo garbage <laughs> In the garbage sign next to DDG name. Your new name is Doodle Garbage. And how that started is crazy. So if you don't know, oh my god, DDG, bro. So let's do a quick summary. The beef between Solomonati and DDG started around 2018, was started as petty shots, which quickly escalated as both creators began making videos exposing each other's flaws and mm. insecurities, which naturally drew in their fan bases. The aftermath of the beef left a lasting impact, particularly on DDG's reputation. So's loyal fan base backed him and took over DDG's comment sections and other social <laughs> media platforms. While the feud seemed to set down over you broke. time, it reignited when DDG dropped his hit song, Moonwalk in the Calabasas, oh my featured God. Blueface in 2020. The song contained hidden references to DDG allegedly smashing Soul's ex. Mm -hmm. DDG smartly incorporated Solomonai's catchphrase and used wordplay to deliver the disses, which yeah. again reignited the beef. Anyway, the beef died down again, but as we fast forward a bit, DDG would for some reason in 2023 bring up his name, saying that he destroyed his career because we haven't heard from him, meanwhile not actually knowing the reason behind Soul's activity bruh we don't get copyrighted against someone that was inactive on social media at the time he continued on dg streams as well as i have been poking at you for this very reason is because i don't know why he feels like he killed a career like oh i, I, I killed his career he hung it up because of me no he just decided to stop posting because of shit going on in his real life again this shit ain't always about what's going on on the fucking internet bruh 
Social media can be it's, it's annoying for this reason because I feel like the internet slash YouTube community le needed a little more negativity. You know what I'm saying? It needed it needed this. So I'm like, let me poke at him so he can do this. Perfect timing around. This nigga's annoying to me. I can't stand this nigga. Right. So hasn't mentioned DDG in some years. So when So came back on YouTube, he had one goal: make DDG look stupid. First thing first. He did that. Been gone for quite some time. Y'all know why. I don't even have to explain. I want to talk to you like I'm FaceTime you. I'm about to break this man down. This is why I'm dropping this video on DDG. These niggas be baloney. <laughs> Got they bitches on me. I just hit Illuminati. And then he fell off. As y'all can see, while I've been going, everybody know my brother passed away last year. To this mm. day, still, it's still something that me and my family is dealing with. And I needed to be away from YouTube, and I needed to be away from everything in order right. to really find myself again. It's crazy that this little nigga trying to feed off my pain. You see how this look? You see this? This mm. is why he wants to be labeled as a rapper so bad, praying he make it. He's so spiritually dead, he can't even find his sound with music. Who mm. does EG sound like? Everybody. That's tough. <laughs> This is enough. That's all I gotta say. Damn. You can't name five DDG songs. It's not possible. You can't. What is five of DDG's greatest hits? You can't name it. I told you you make music for niggas who wear open toe sandals with no socks. Remember I told you that? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, first of all, what <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this dude is hilarious, bro. Fuck, man. Fucking goat. That's still out here. He just don't want to make content no more. This dude is too funny, bro. He make music for people who wear open toes, sandal with socks. <laughs> That's number one. But what I was going to pause it for is, bro, I definitely can't name five DDG songs. I can name the Moonwalking and Calabasas. And uh, what's the other song? Impatient. I know that one, but I only even care about Coil Rays, but I always... <laughs> I skip his. <laughs> that shit is hilarious, bro. Hey, man, this is, I'm not trying to diss the nigga. I'm just saying that he, he, he's annoying. The nigga's very arrogant and cocky. He gets on my motherfucking nerves. That's why I don't watch the nigga. And first of all, I don't know your brother, bro. No disrespect. Oh, yeah, I remember this but one. I can literally, I could probably Google thousands and thousands and thousands of people that died today. This was stupid. What is that supposed to, that don't have nothing to do with me. Am I supposed to like, oh, bro, I ain't going, oh, bro, did you, bro, that has nothing to do with me. Spotify came out this morning and said they changed DDG name to Doodle Garbage. And it's oh. Immediately. So if you search up DDG name right now with doodle garbage, he will pop up. What? But I'm asking y'all, can y'all please stop? I give up. Every time I go on Spotify and type in doodle emojis, now my name pop up. Wow. I go on there and I type in doodle, my name pop up on Spotify. Ha! And then I go on my page. I'm asking y'all, can y'all please stop, bro? Like, it's just like little YouTube beef. It ain't even nothing real for me. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. In those moments, so posted videos of him playing in some sort of basketball rec league. I remember that shit. Once again. Now, for what reason? It could be because of some of the things I stated before. Who knows? Uh -huh. But what we do know is that So is in a good position right now. And that's the thing. Solomonati has to know about this. I mean, his old clip still makes rounds on the internet, and he's been gone. But what's uh -huh. been going on in the past, it seems unlikely for so to be as consistent again in the near future but if he does decide to return he knows he has the luxury to take a break and come back and rinse and repeat right really countless times already just like how i rinse and repeat with the solo Minati videos <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that explains how influential he is you should probably okay okay that. yeah yeah bro at the end of the day this man truly was one of a kind we literally won't ever get another youtuber like Solomonati, dog. This man was so influential in just everything, bro. Like I said, a lot of his influence is still easily seen today in modern day YouTubers. And that shit is crazy, bro. So, hey, man, hopefully he returns one day. Like I said, I'm an old school Solomonati fan. So if he ever does start making content again, you better believe I'm going to be one of the motherfucking views. Adding to that goddamn viewer count. I'm going to be right there watching his videos, kind of leaving comments, all that. Dude is fucking goaded. But... You don't want to do this shit no more, I guess. It is what it is. Hey, thank y'all for staying tuned if y'all sat with me throughout this whole video. I know I got a little ranty. I got a little talky sometime, but that's what you got to do for reactions, baby. You don't just sit there and just watch the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my thoughts and opinions, so that's what you got to do. Make sure y'all show all I love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we are out of this thing. This is what Darwin signing out. Hey. Let's get it.